What are Europass digital credentials? Where did they come from? And where can they take us citizens, education and training providers, and the European labor market? In January 2018, Action 3 of the Digital Education Action Plan proposed and encouraged the provision of a framework that allows issuing digitally certified qualifications and the validation of digitally acquired skills that are trusted, multilingual, and can be stored in professional profiles such as Europass. The framework was foreseen to be fully aligned with the European Qualifications Framework for Lifelong Learning, EQF, and the European Classification of Skills, Competences, Qualifications and Occupations, ESCO. Fast forward to 2020 and the publication of the five-year plan and 12 actions of the European Skills Agenda. On the launch date, the 1st of July, the new Europass was the first implemented action that invited people to use this familiar but highly modernized and expanded tool to manage learning pathways and career development. The Europass Digital Credentials Infrastructure is one component of this new framework and platform of services. A Europass Learning Credential describes that its owner has certain skills or has achieved certain learning outcomes through formal or non-formal learning context. The issuing institution's EIDAS-compliant Qualified Electronic Seal guarantees the origin and integrity of this document. The Europass learning model allows interoperability of learning opportunities, qualifications and credentials in Europe, and its use contributes to data transparency, lowering administrative burden and decreasing fraud by enabling automatic authentication of qualifications. By using this data model and utilizing the above-mentioned concepts such as national qualifications frameworks and EQF, thematic area designation by ISCAT Field of Education codes, and building on the skill and occupation pillars of ESCO, Europass digital credential implementers can describe courses and certificates in a multilingual standardized format, enabling and facilitating easier credential recognition by third parties, such as prospective employers and admission officers. The EDC framework has five core functions, namely to identify the persons receiving and the organizations issuing credentials, facilitate the data preparation and issuing of Europass digital credentials, allow credential holders to store their credentials securely in a single wallet, make available a series of instant automatic credential verification checks, and provide quick and easy solutions to credential holders to share their EDCs with third parties. Early adopters confirm that while initial efforts are necessary to switch the institutional mindset and adjust administrative procedures, thanks to these core functions, these temper-evident, verifiable digital credentials are quicker and cheaper to produce compared to their traditional paper-based counterparts, saving time and money over a longer period of time. From the technical specification point of view, the Europass Digital Credentials Infrastructure, EDCI, has four main building blocks. The EIDAS legislation provides a set of laws and standards, as well as technology, to ensure the secure sealing and transfer of credentials from authenticated issuers to the designated EDC recipients. A set of Europass standards helps understanding what a digital credential is, how the credential data should be structured and be expressed in code, how EDCs can be revoked, and how credential issuers, viewers, wallets, and verifications should look like. The first implementation of these standards is by Europass itself. In other words, the Europass portal is readily offering free services of the Europass digital credential issuer, viewer, and the wallet that is integrated into Europass account holders' ePortfolios. At last, the open and freely available software and the EDCI code library allows early adopters to implement their own services, similar to what is already offered by Europass. Europass is inviting stakeholders in the education and training sectors to take advantage of the opportunities available via interoperability. 
by expressing your learning opportunity offerings and credentials in terms of the Europass learning model, that is the single European data model endorsed by the European Commission, you can make them more transparent, accessible and easier to recognize by third parties. You are welcome to use the existing Europass services or develop your own applications utilizing the standards and the software mentioned before. Digital credentials expressed in the standard Europass technical format can be stored in any Europass compliant wallet, 1.4 million of which have already been registered since the launch of the Europass portal in July 2021. Europass can also provide you with access to qualification and awarding body data thanks to its connection to the European Qualification Dataset Register, QDR. The Europass learning model allows issuers to describe credentials of any size, shape and form. Thanks to the data model's complexity and flexibility, it allows the expression of the simplest certificate, for example the completion of a short non-formal learning activity, as well as the detailed description of a university degree or a diploma supplement. The model has almost 250 properties to describe various aspects of a credential, but only a handful are compulsory, namely the name and legal identifier of the credential issuer, the name and email or wallet address of the recipient, a credential type and title, a valid from date, and the presence of the issuing organization's qualified electronic seal. Without these basic details, the issuer tool will not allow the completion of a credential awarding process, but the provision of any additional data is optional. Credential holders have full power over their EDCs and can share them with third parties without having to request permission of an intermediary or the awarding body. In turn, authorized credential viewers can enjoy the convenience of not only a standardized format of presenting the credential content, but also a series of instant automatic authentication and verification checks that can inform them whether the credential they are viewing is still valid, if it has been revoked or tampered with since its issuance. Accordingly, every time a Europass digital credential is viewed by a prospective employer or an admission officer, they see the current results of these checks on the right-hand side of the credential preview. The Europass learning model allows the description of various components and aspects of a credential, including details of the issuing organization, the credential owner, the learner's achievements, including grades and distinct learning outcomes, activities and entitlements as illustrated by this credential sample. Many of these credential properties are described by free text, but some of the attributes, such as the thematic area and qualification framework level of an achievement, the mode of learning, type of assessment, learning setting, or the knowledge and skills that can be linked to a learning outcome, are expressed by the use of multilingual standard vocabularies. Ultimately, it is the combination of all the above-mentioned functions and features, the commitment and support of the European Commission, and the invaluable efforts of our early adopters that is steadily steering the process from testing a robust development to mainstreaming the use of a trusted, complex European digital credentializing ecosystem.